I have said before that I wasn't too impressed with Hezekiah here. He doesn't humble himself and cry out when he hears that his sons will be taken away and made eunuchs in the palace of the king of Babylon. He's content with his lot of peace and security. I don't know why there isn't any pleading this time, but I certainly can understand the flesh reaction of being happy to have peace and security for yourself. There have been times in my life when I wanted to be part of the end times drama. I can think back to college and telling the Lord back then that I wanted to be in the middle of it. Then there are times when I read things in the Bible, like to live a quiet life and just do our work and to pray for our leaders so we can have peaceful, quiet life. And I think, that sounds nice. I'll just stay home and work quietly. Sounds like a good plan, Lord. Actually, he seems to be calling me into intercession, which is a way to answer both of those prayers, to be part of what's going on, and to work quietly from home. I would suspect we all want peace and security in some ways, but we don't have to give up that love, uh, life of adventure with the Lord. Our peace is in Christ. Our security is in Christ. You may lose peace and security in your surroundings, but not in Christ. You can be thrown in prison and tortured and not lose peace and security in Christ. I have been rereading the autobiography of Darlene Diebler, American missionary who was held in a Japanese prison camp in World War II. She was tortured as part of her interrogation as a suspected spy. There was no peace and security in her situation. But God's grace was always sufficient, and she never lost her peace and security in Christ.